the specific heat capacity of water is 4,200 4, joules per kilogram degree Celsius. And a kettle boils 500 grams of water from 20 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. And how much heat energy does the kettle transfer to the water? Now don't panic because all we need to use is list, equation, solve, state and we can make this calculation a piece of cake. So let's do that. List means we need to write down our data in letter form and we need to check to see if any units need converting. So let's write down what we know and what we're trying to find. So what do we know? We know the specific heat capacity well that's got a, a symbol C is 4200 joules per kilogram degree C. So let's pop that down to start with. So C equals 4200 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. And notice I am putting units down in the list. Very important. What else do we know? We know that we've got 500 grams of water. Well that's mass. So let's write that down. So mass equals 500 grams of water. What else do we know? We know that the temperature rises from 20 degrees to 100 degrees so that's going to give us the temperature change and that's sometimes called theta. So let's write that down. So theta equals well that's 80 degrees isn't it? And 80 degrees temperature rise so plus 80 degrees. And what are we trying to find? Because that's the other important part of the listing process. We're trying to find the heat energy that we have to give to the water. So we'll write down here E equals question mark joules. Now before we go on, check the units. Check to see that they agree. We've got joules and joules. Yay! We've got degrees Celsius and degrees Celsius. Hooray! Oh, oh, we've got grams and kilograms. They don't agree. So we have to make a conversion here. And we have to turn it into kilograms. Those are standard units. So a little, little catch in this question. So that would be 0 0.5 kilograms. Now we can go on. We've done the hardest bit. All we need to do now is write down an equation which links all of these letters together. And from the last flashcard, you're now familiar that the specific heat capacity equation is that energy equals m times c times theta. Brilliant. We're all set up. All we have to do is solve and put the numbers in. So we write E, that's what we're trying to find, equals m, which is not 500 grams. We're going to use the 0.5 because that's the correct units. I'm not going to put units in this section. I'm going to keep it simple times by 4200, that's C, times by theta, which is 80 degrees Celsius. So we work this out, it equals, let's grab the calculator, and we're going to get 0 0.5 times 4200 times 80, and we get 168,000 there we are. Now the last part of the calculation is to state the answer with the correct units and always look up to our list and we're looking for joules so we can say that the energy required is 168,000 joules. Ta-da! Using list, equation, solve state makes this calculation a piece of cake.